mate. If you ain't getting this one, girl, then this one's for you. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video on EME TV. And today, as the title shows you, we're actually going to be doing a little interior update on the FN2. So I've gone out, bought some parts on the FN2 that I was not needing to, but I just thought these touch ups, these little touch ups will actually make a huge difference in the car. Obviously, I'm due to get the bodywork sorted at a sooner day. Hopefully, that will be coming to the channel, I assure you. Well, without further ado, let me show you what I've got to spice up the interior of this FNT. So, anyway, guys, I thought I'd come down to the car and show you guys what exactly we've got here. Now, we've got the carbon fiber petrol cap that I had that fell off. I'm going to be trying to reinstall that. But the interior stuff, forget that. But we've got new leather for the like gear gator thing there which as you can see mine is in an absolute dire condition i've been literally eager to get that changed for a while but this is actually quite complicated to install and i don't know if i can do it myself i'll probably have to get help from a specialist or somebody a body shop or something to actually do that because i believe you've got like staple the m bits round the circular bit of that because when i was buying this idiotly or stupidly i didn't realize that you don't doesn't come with like the base circular thing so i have to try and work this out I also bought another two carbon parts so you can see this goes over like the type r little badge just underneath there and then the little storage compartment bit i went and got a little carbon bit for that to go there so those two pieces there should really like brush up and make that area look very 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 nice indeed i went ahead and also if i can if i can actually get it out stupidly i should have actually taken it out of the box before that like, started to record shouldn't i anyway give me a second i went and got a carbon fiber Mugen gear knob because mine as you can see probably for me I don't know if the camera will do it any justice might put some close-ups up was in dire condition so that is going to be a nice little upgrade to install on the car as well now where's my little last part last but not least I thought these were kind of cool and they're little carbon parts that actually go in between the doors just in between there as well and another part that i'll need to buy is the little carbon strip as well that goes across here just over like the door handle like area bit here but yeah i'm probably sure you guys know exactly what i'm talking about but without further ado i'm gonna get my loctite glue that i've got in the car and try and install these parts in here bar where is it the lever because i actually don't think i can install that and i don't trust myself to do it properly so anyway i'll try and do what i can in this video but yeah Let's try and make the interior look a lot nicer than what it does at present. So yeah, guys, we're starting off with the carbon fiber petrol cap that's actually fallen off now twice. Really annoying. I don't know why it is. I'm using the recommended glue, which is a Loctite that um, Carbon My Ride actually advised me to use. And I'm putting it over the OEM part, which they told me to do. Now, I've seen some people actually replacing the carbon part with the genuine Honda petrol cap and actually putting the carbon one in its place now i don't know how that would look i'm just doing what i was recommended by the people that actually bought purchased the the product from so let's hope this is the last time i'm actually going to be gluing this down now moving on moving into the interior now doing the storage compartments obviously one for the little storage compartment just on top of the sort of gearbox holder and then the gearbox holder i don't really know what to call that bit but the bit below the little storage compartment that you got so just gluing it down using the loctite glue as i usually do pushing it on I'm trying to hold it and making sure that fingers crossed it's not actually going to fall off now when i was doing this i was actually just putting the glue on trying to sort of level it up um, and then just holding it for the recommended it recommends you to hold it on the loctite for about 60 seconds but i was doing a minute and a half as you can see after that i was just literally flicking it up and down to make sure that it was actually in place and stuck on properly and then moving on to the lower bit that we've actually got but yeah guys let me know down below in the comments if you guys are a fan of carbon this will definitely not be the last pieces of carbon that i'm gonna buy i'm always on the search for sort of good offers and prices on carbon parts i know there's loads on carbon my ride but yeah these ones obviously got second hand still in good condition um and yeah I'm, I'm just a lover of carbon so expect more carbon content moving forward that's for sure as you can see here i'm literally just pushing down holding down trying to fit it and make it make sure the fitment is as smooth as possible which is really really annoying with these parts because sometimes they don't fit as flush as you want them to be um this i'll probably need to revisit because the m product isn't as flush as i need it to be i think the actual um the bottom part of just underneath the storage compartment which i don't know what to call will actually need to come out and then you place the part on it and um, that's what i think because the fitment wasn't just it wasn't good as good as i wanted it to be but yep now the gear knob was really really 
quite simple obviously taking the old one out and putting in the new one just putting on the screw and then screwing on the new carbon gear knob there so yeah next put next obviously job that you're going to join me on is to go and get the leather piece changed um and i'm going to go to 84 autos to do so but yeah let's get back into it what's going on guys so join me the next day i basically stopped filming because it got too dark couldn't see anything so it wouldn't have made a, a decent video. you guys couldn't really see anything um and in addition the lever is still not on so the lever gate are sort of lever thing that mine looks dire um i haven't fitted that yet because i don't trust myself so i've actually booked a appointment with hussein who did the underseal on the ep3 to actually try and sort of fit that for me so <laughs> I, I relieves the pressure on me to try and get it right but the interior does look a lot nicer now i do really enjoy it do it does really change the look and feel of the interior so i'm just gonna go um it's probably about time alex you get on my way to go and get the leather piece fitted but before we go and do that i've got one test one test to do before and this is the test so as i pointed out in a previous video that fell off the first time i went to go and fill up the car after sticking it on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go around open it up and if it stays on We'll let you one step further along than last time. So let's see. Moment of truth. Open it up. Okay. Let's do it three times. Uh, yeah. So we're definitely further along. So that's decent. That probably needs to clean as well. I'll do that next time I get the car washed. But yeah, without further ado, let's get ourselves to 84 Autos. So yeah. Let's head off then to 84 Autos and getting in the car now. I mean, we did the carbon on the outside, but now I thought I'd pay attention to the inside before doing the bodywork on the outside. And even this, cent this section here, even though it might not seem a lot to some of you, but it does actually change the sort of interior feel, especially when I do get this lever gator changed as well. It's just gonna look brand new. First thing I do, I felt wait, basically driving the car yesterday after fitting the new gear knob as well, is this gear knob feels a lot better than the OEM one. And I don't, I think it's because it's slightly bigger. Um, I don't know material, like the other one's obviously metal, isn't it? Like this is obviously carbon, but it just feels different. I don't know what it is. Like any of you out there, please let me know if you feel the same thing, because mine feels a lot different and I'm enjoying it a lot more. That's just playing around with the gears in this than I did in my OEM one. I don't know what it is, especially now in these cold times as well, where we're heading to winter now. This is probably better to have because the other one does get quite cold, eh? But nah, no, I'm really enjoying this. This is very, very nice. But hey ho. Um, the interior parts on the car are definitely coming along. Like I've always said, I'm a lover of carbon. Now we've got obviously the carbon wing mirrors, the carbon doors, handles, the carbon petrol cap, as well as now the car, this sort of car carbon storage and gearbox. <laughs> gear stick whatever i don't even know what to call them but this little center section carbon not carbon new carbon gear knob i got some <laughs> i got a little carbon um is it the fuse box cover um i got that as well a little sticker i put that on there yesterday as well and um, something i got quite a long time ago but i just didn't fit and i thought you know what if i fit in everything i'll probably fit that now um and yeah, I'm just in love with carbon. Do let me know if you guys are as well, but I just think it enhances the car. I just like the look of it, especially when, you know, you wipe it down and it's looking clean and stuff. I can't wait to obviously get the um, this lever changed as well because everything's gonna be looking brand new and it's just, the FN2 is just coming along, isn't it? It's coming along. It's gonna look the way I want it to look. Um, the fitment of these carbon bits as well, the, especially, well, the st storage cover's all right, but the, the gearbox, like, I keep saying the gearbox, the gear stick like cover piece is a bit out and I don't know if that's me or if that's just a fitment of some carbon parts because some carbon parts can be a bit tricky in terms of trying to fit them on the OEM parts but yeah I'll try and see if Hussein at 84 Autos could actually you know kind of fix that for me as well but without further ado let's let's actually head off there um, and I'll meet you guys again or join you back up with you guys when we've actually got there and, and done everything so yeah let's go so yeah guys, it's the next day as you can see. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film at A4, oh, it's just getting too dark nowadays in the winter. Winter time's about 3, 3.30, it's getting dark. But we've had a bit of snow here in Manchester. I've got the FN2 warming up behind me as well. But the interior upgrades, really happy with them. They do really enhance the interior. And with that Levigator as well, now I'm being fitted. 
literally game changer game changer but if you guys are obviously a fan of the carbon and stuff because as i've said 50 million times that is not the last you've seen of carbon as well so click that subscribe button if you're interested for more adventures on the fn2 it's still kind of a project it is my daily but i've got a lot of things planned up for this moving forward and obviously with the gti as well which is a new project on the channel yeah we've got some new content so don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button um, i appreciate all the support as always guys and i guess i'll see you guys on the next one peace Mate, if you're out here getting this one then this one's for you